Justine. I'm going to be reviewing your store now. Um, so I absolutely love Kawakawa products. I've suffered with eczema my whole life. So I love that you're creating these products and I've had a look and it looks like you've got some really great stuff and you've got amazing reviews. So that's really cool. Um, I don't want to start off on a bad note, but menus down the left are not in the typical header space can be a little bit hard for people to use because it's not the norm. What I would suggest you do is install an app which tracks user behavior on your store. And then you can record people's sessions, see how they move around the store, see if it's difficult for them, and you'll get some really, really useful insights from that. So there are two apps that you can do there. One is called Hotjar, and I believe that one has a free trial. And the other one is called Better Replay. And that one's completely free. Install those on the site. Just download the app. It's relatively easy. And then wait a week and then watch some of the recordings. Watch a few where people have landed on the front page and left. Watch a few where people have landed on the home page, visited a couple pages, then left. And then watch ones where people have purchase so you get a good variety you don't have to watch them all I'm not sure how much traffic you're getting um, but it'll show you within the app how far through the site or how many pages people visited and if you watch a few from each category you'll get a really good idea um, of what's going on when someone lands on your shop so uh, that's the position of the menu the other thing I wanted to say here was under native remedies, I would add a drop down menu based on um, based on what what it's remedying. So is it pain relief, eczema, um, sleep, chapped lips? Add kind of the key categories that your products fall into for the remedies that they that they cover as a drop down. Uh, just to make it easier for people to find what they want and see what you've got available. The other thing is uh, we're missing a contact us page. I don't think it's in the footer either. No, so make sure you add a contact page. So to add the contact form, create a new page in Shopify. And then in the bottom right hand corner, there is a, a page template drop down field. If you select contact uh, under the templates, it'll create a page with a form on it. And then all you need to do is just add one line of text, which says we'll get back to you within 24 hours, 48 hours, whatever your response time might be. I do see that you've got the message us on Facebook chat thing there, which is really good. Um, but some people uh, may just prefer to send you a message through the contact form. So let's cater to, to those people that prefer to act in that way. Um, some other things that are missing from your menu that are really key are refund and return policy. What if someone doesn't like the product? What happens? Um, shipping, how long does it take and how much does it cost? Terms of service and privacy policy. Shopify has templates for all of these things. If you go into settings, legal, um, and then you can click a button, I think it says add from template. And then all you need to do is change out uh, your specific information. So for refunds, what your refund policy is. Uh, for terms and service, you pretty much just need to change out your name but do read through it and make sure that you agree and you're happy with that um, I can't provide legal advice on your policies but Shopify um, seem to know what they're doing in that area um, so let's just take a look at the overall design I'm not sure if you can see the top of my tab here but you're missing a uh, favicon or favicon everyone says it different I'm not really sure which is the correct way um, but it's the little icon that shows on the top of the tab um, in someone's browser so that sits under usually theme settings favicon 
and you upload an image. It's just going to be a little tiny one, 32 by 32 pixels. So I would use um, probably just the leaf from your logo instead of the leaf and the words. Uh, with this announcement bar here, cool to see that your ACC approved, um, but I just want to know a bit more information about what that means. Does that mean that I can claim uh, all of my products under ACC? Create a page that has information about ACC approval, um, how people can use that, any contact information they need if they need to contact ACC, make it really easy for people, and then link that page from the announcement bar. For this slider here, uh, I would like to see some text on here that shows the benefits of the product for your customer. So with the Ponamu oil, you say that it provides the highest frequency when combined together to nourish the heart chakra. Um, if someone doesn't know what nourishing the heart chakra means, they're probably not going to buy the product. So I would just explain in the simplest way possible the benefits of the product or um, what nourishing the heart chakra means and do that on all of the slides. So take off this text here. Um, and replace that with a benefit. Because people are more interested in what it's going to do, how it's going to make their life better than they are um, the name of the product. Not that it's not important that to have the name, um, but they can they can see that information on the product page once they click through. Um, so with these slides, we also want to make them clickable. And when we click them, we want it to go to the product page for the product that's being shown. Um, so in this instance, it would go to the Kawakawa Balm page. Um, make the image clickable. And if you can, add a button on there with a really cool, clear call to action. So shop Kawakawa Balm now. Find out more information about XYZ, make it really, really clear for people and entice them to click and move around your site. I like that you've got some products here on the home page. I would see if you can create uh, three columns and have three products and then have a heading above them that says our popular products or latest products new to the store something along those lines and include a short description in here underneath um, the the pricing and title so if people can look at it and get a glance they they know what it's all about another thing I would do is add a featured collection section so again I would have two or three columns and I would make those images. You should have a section in your Shopify theme called Featured Collection. And hopefully it allows you to just chuck those in there. And you'll have a collection image. So one would be, uh, in this instance, face masks. You just have one face mask picture. It would overlay with text that says face mask. And when they click on that, it takes them to a collection with all of the face masks. And then you would have one called creams and you would pick just one image of your creams and then they would click and they would see all the creams. The same for balms, sprays, all the different categories and collections you can create with your products. Or you could also do it in the way I mentioned before by doing it by remedy. So what's the pain point that it's fixing? Um, but it's generally good to have a few different ways for people to shop. So if we have um, the remedies and the pain points in the menu, we'd have the type of product here um, as featured collections on the homepage. Yeah, so this is what I was talking about. If we have something like this higher up, instead of having all of these products in a row, because it's just a bit cumbersome to navigate around, um, my internet connection isn't the greatest 
and it's lagging uh, but that could potentially be happening for other people as well and you'll pick that up when you install that screen recording software hotjar or better replay okay so when i go through to a collections page like this native remedies for example A way we can make this easier for people to navigate is by having a filter and this will depend on your theme capabilities um, but having a filter where people can choose I want a balm or I want an eczema cream or I need something to help me with my pain and allow people to filter the products uh, based on what their needs are because at the moment we're having to navigate across multiple pages and people are lazy and they just won't always do that so make it easy for them to filter rather than having to paginate on a product page really good that you've got the lay by option here I would go into the lay by app and under product choose center text so it sits under there and it aligns nicely uh, I would also add into this top section somewhere usually sits underneath the product name is the review stars so you are using a review app and you are using Yopo which is my favorite and you can definitely add the review stars under the name if you can't do it yourself reach out to the support they're usually really helpful there and they can they can point you in the right direction or do it for you great we've got the buy now buttons uh, under here we could also add some trust badges and the icons that show you how you can pay so that i don't need to click on the see more shopping options i can see that okay i can check out um, using my visa again just making it as simple as possible for people uh, with products like yours i think it's a really good idea to include frequently asked questions so being natural a question that people often have is how long is it going to last what's the shelf life so i would have a section at the towards the bottom of the product description saying um, frequently asked questions what is the shelf life of this product and then list that there uh, what if I have any allergies how do I use it how much do I use at a time when do I use it all those kind of questions that people will have and then you're answering their objections to buying your product before they have the opportunity to object to navigate away from the page another great thing to do with a product which is um, being applied to the skin with people having so many allergies is include a full ingredients list and um, so if i'm allergic to a certain ingredient like coconut oil for example or any kind of nut butters essential oils i can instantly see that um, and then that avoids the risk of someone buying the product and having an allergy and coming back to you with a gripe about that because you can say well all the information was on the on the product page and you can also include information around how you handle that in the refund and return policy so we've got that shipping is calculated at checkout Generally, people like to know how much the product's going to cost them in total, including shipping. So I would include, again, within the product description, a table that shows um, based on location or however it is you calculate your shipping price, how much it's going to cost and how long it's going to take to arrive to my doorstep. Uh, I imagine with a lot of these products, you are making them yourself so keeping stock could potentially be an issue i'm not sure how long it takes you to make more when you run out but include a stock level countdown on the product page uh, that drives 
urgency. So if people see there's only four left, they want to buy them straight away rather than shop around and come back because they don't want to miss out. They get that FOMO. You could also add bundles onto your product pages. So if I buy the lip balm, Kawakawa balm, and a Kawakawa cream, I can get a discount, bundle them based on things that make sense. So maybe a facial scrub and a beauty cream and a facial mist would be a really good bundle and show people that if you buy these all individually, it's going to cost you X, buy them as a bundle, you're going to save Y. Um, makes it a really easy decision for people to buy more at one time and that increases your average order value and then that's just going to help you make more money in the long run. I see that you do have gift packs available here, which are great. So if I click onto here, I would, in these products, make sure that I'm linking off to the individual products so I can find more information on all of these products and list the key information about the product and its benefits underneath the title and the link as well. Also include the price of each of these individually especially if you are bundling them and offering a discount. So if these are normally uh, all $20 each and it would normally cost me $60 to buy them on their own, show that by doing uh, using the compare at price. So you'll have on your Shopify product, you'll have a sale price and a compare price. So in the sale price, you would put this $40. In the compare price, you would put $60. And then it's going to cross it out and show people that they're saving $20. Again, just making it easy for them to make the decision to buy the whole set. Overall, I think it's looking really good. Justine, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. I do have a bit of knowledge in the natural skincare arena, so I'm happy to help wherever I can. Thanks.